Here we're gonna break down TCA toxicity in a clear, simple way. Now they hit three systems hard, we can break them down into the three C's. C for CNS, C for cardiac, and C for anticholinergic. Let's start with CNS. We often see mental status changes, such as drowsiness or delirium, sometimes even coma, as well as seizures and respiratory depression. In terms of cardiovascular, we see sinus tachycardia, prolonged PRQRS and QT intervals, hypotension, and arrhythmias. This is parenthetically why we give sodium bicarb to patients to prevent these arrhythmias and of course, anticholinergic effects. Since TCAs block muscarinic acetylcholine receptors, and therefore, there will be a lot of dryness, dry mouth, dry eyes leading to blurred vision, dilated pupils, as we remember, blind as a bat, urinary retention, i.e. dryness, as well as flushing and hyperthermia. This is what we mean in the mnemonic, red as a beat, a hallmark feature of anticholinergic toxicity. Management on the exams, as I mentioned, is mainly IV sodium bicarb. For patients who are refractory to sodium bicarb, they may respond to magnesium or lidocaine. But of course, we control the patient with supplemental oxygen, perhaps intubation, and activated charcoal within the first two hours of ingestion, unless parenthetically, ileus is present. All right, so that's it for our scene on TCA overdose. Take care.